Hey everybody, Brian from the Cabinet Joint here. Um, a short time ago, you ordered some cabinetry from us, which we thank you very much for. And those cabinets are going to be arriving at your uh, place of, of business or probably your residence any day now. So the purpose of this video is to show you what a home delivery, since that's where most of these cabinets are going, what that entails. This video is just gonna talk about the normal delivery procedure, not the exceptions. We do have a separate video we have shot for that in case your delivery goes awry in some way or it doesn't quite match the norm. This is gonna tackle the bulk of what you're gonna see for a typical home delivery. So what I've got here in front of me is we're here in our shop in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is an eight pallet four loose box uh, job that we're assembling for a client and I want to talk you through and show you how this worked for us and how it worked for you as well. So the first thing, the truck backs up to your garage or wherever you're going to put these cabinets and the guy throws open the door, the first thing we'd like you to do is just look at your watch or your phone and take a note of the time, okay? We don't need it like to the second, we just want to know the driver arrived at roughly 8.01 and you're going to also want to look at your watch or your phone and look at when he actually drives out the driveway. Reason being, the truck drivers these days have GPS systems in their trucks, and if you are, if you detain the truck driver longer than, uh, I think 30 minutes is the norm, they may file a, what they call a retention charge, which means you kept us at the delivery residence too long. So we wanna have proof that says, no, we didn't, or if they did stay longer than 30 minutes, why? Were they on the phone with the terminal, or was it the driver's issue, or was it something about your delivery locations? That really helps us fight the battle for you. So mark when the driver arrives, when they leave. Um, most deliveries can be done in under 20 minutes. So just to give you an idea, they have a lift gate, they drop it to the ground and push it off to the side and then go get the next one. So 20 minutes to half an hour is more than enough for the average delivery. As the driver is wheeling pallets to the back, getting them to the ground and staging them in your area, you want to make sure you have your phone handy and take a picture of all four sides of a pallet. So your, your pallets are gonna come wrapped like you see here in, in cellophane or, or uh, plastic. Get a picture of all four sides and what we're looking for is any obvious damage to the pallet, a forklift spear, a ripped carton, whatever. You also wanna take pictures of any of your loose boxes, which is what this would be. A loose box is something that's sitting on top of pallets but not strapped to it, okay? So this job had four of these kinds of boxes. Take a picture of your loose boxes. What you're doing here is you're just taking copious notes. We don't need you to send us this. We may never ask for it, but if in the event there's a problem, we wanna have a ready reference that says, oh yeah, remember I had this picture from delivery day and it showed that, that pallet gouge, okay? That's the only reason we need this. Hopefully we'll never have to ask you for it, but too much documentation is never enough. Um, once you've gotten your pictures taken of a pallet and they've got all the pallets off, you're gonna ask the driver for the delivery receipt, okay? used to be called a bill of lading. You might hear us talk about it as a bill of lading in previous videos. It's a delivery receipt. And what you're gonna do is look at that and it's gonna tell you how many pallets and how many loose boxes there were on that delivery. In our case, we had eight and we had four loose. So you wanna make sure what you unloaded matches what the delivery receipt says. If it does, your job is done. What you're gonna do now is if you had anything that you took a picture of and you're like, yep, I had that one with a forklift scored the side of that, I'm, I'm questioning that box. You're not gonna unpack the whole carton down to get to that box and look at the contents. You're just gonna say, damage. There's a box on the delivery receipt that says damage. It's all you do is check the box. Don't write anything else. Don't get all explanatory. You've got a picture already, just check damaged. Okay, the only time that we would like you to actually hold the driver and tell him I have to open this box is if you ordered one of our high-end Stanisi range hoods. And if what I just said sounds foreign to you, you don't have to worry about it but if you do understand, yes, I ordered a Stanisi range hood, that means something to you. You've got to pop the lid off that box and inspect the hood, which is strapped to a pallet below. We want to make sure that hood is good before the driver leaves. If it's not, again, check damaged, okay? It's just one box. Doesn't matter how many things you saw that are damaged, one box. The other box on there you may want to check is short. All that means is if the bill or the delivery receipt said, eight skids, four loose, and you only had seven skids or three loose, just check short. Doesn't matter what was missing, that just tells them we're missing something. And now we have all the notes we need that you and your cabinet coach can work out the replacements and finding the, loose, the lost pallet, whatever it may be. I wanna stress, you do not have to work with FedEx. You don't have to contact them and say, hey, I got a damage. All that runs through your cabinet coach, and we make it a streamlined process, and all these notes you're taking, and pictures and all that 
are helping us do that expeditiously. And so one final point we want to make is you don't want to refuse the delivery, okay? Um, once FedEx drops the stuff off, you're going to work with your cabinet coach, Conestoga, you know, us to get this resolved for you. If you refuse delivery and FedEx has to take it back and then they want to re-deliver it later, this is not like a small package coming on UPS parcel delivery. This is freight delivery. And when they re-deliver it in a week or whatever, and you're satisfied, they're going to assess a re-delivery charge. You don't want that and we don't want that. So just receive the delivery. We'll help you find the lost pallet or resolve the damaged issues. So hopefully that helps. Um, so if you have any questions, as always, give us a call, 888-211-6482. Your cabinet coaches are always eager to give you a hand. Thanks for watching.